The story that Buck and I are going to spend the biggest and most significant amount of time talking about, though, I think on this show, is going to be Ron DeSantis against Donald Trump. I will give you a couple of predictions that I believe are going to come to pass. I said that I think the biggest story of 2022 on a positive level for people who believe in sanity in this country is Elon Musk's purchase of Twitter. I think that it will have seismic ramifications. I think that it already is having those seismic ramifications because in big tech, there has been no Rupert Murdoch. Rupert Murdoch, if he did not exist, and if the Murdoch fi family did not exist, there is no Fox News. The Wall Street Journal probably does not have the same editorial independence that it has right now. New York Post doesn't exist. Uh, the, obviously, everything associated with Fox in general does not exist because basically the Murdoch family has created a business that will speak to over half of the country that is still sane. And certainly, if Rush Limbaugh did not exist, then you would not get to hear from either Buck Sexton or myself on a daily basis on this show. Rush started it. I think Rupert Murdoch followed in Rush's wake. And there has been not only a tremendous importance to their voices in this country, there has been, without them, almost no truth tellers. No one to hold the New York Times, the Washington Post, CNN, MSNBC, ABC, CBS, NBC. No one to hold all these entities accountable for, frankly, the lies that they regularly spread and the narrative that they spread, which ignores much of the truth that's going on. Yesterday, I told you what I think is the biggest story in America right now and I think one that, frankly, we're going to track throughout 2023 is what happened with the rig job of the 2020 election. And the fact that the FBI knew that the Hunter Biden laptop was real. They've had it now for three years and they've done nothing with it, despite the fact that there is ample, indisputable evidence of multiple felonies having been committed. And I think the revelations of the FBI's knowledge and who ordered what I called the code red is going to be one of the most consequential stories to come out of 2023. But the reason why that is occurring, and again, House Republicans have to hold hearings to have primetime hearings associated with that aspect of big tech, big media, and the Democrat Party collusion. But the reason why that's happening is because Elon Musk bought Twitter for $44 billion. Without that purchase, none of this would have gone public. We could suspect it. Remember Ernest Hemingway? I was just down in Key West, toured the Hemingway home. Fabulous thing. If you're a history person, fabulous thing to go tour. Really, really a cool tour. Uh, also did the Little White House with Harry Truman, where he spent over 100 days down in Key West. Also a fantastic tour. If you are a history buff like I am. What Hemingway said was great writing is like an iceberg. You only see a small part of the visible iceberg. The vast majority of the iceberg is underwater. But the part that you see is supported by the foundation of that iceberg. Great writing. You see the words but the foundation of that great writing is there as well. We knew that there was a rig job going on in big tech, but we were only seeing the tip of the iceberg. We were only seeing the impact of what was going on. We weren't seeing the actual reality of what was transpiring. Elon Musk spent $44 billion to buy Twitter so that we could see the foundation of that iceberg. And I think increasingly in 2023, all of it is going to be impossible to ignore. That's why I believe the most consequential act of 2022 will also be the most consequential act of 2023, which is Elon Musk buying Twitter and revealing 
exactly all of the receipts, the smoking gun evidence, as it were, of all of the misguided and, frankly, fraudulent and criminal acts that have been perpetrated by this collusive regime of the Democrat Party, uh, of big tech, and of big media. And so I think that's going to be the most propulsive story of 2023. The story that Buck and I are going to spend the biggest and most significant amount of time talking about, though, I think on this show, is going to be Ron DeSantis against Donald Trump. I think this is my big prediction. I don't think it's a crazy prediction. I think Ron DeSantis is going to announce for president sometime around June. And I think Ron DeSantis, when we finish the 2023 year, this is my big prediction. I think that he is going to be the overwhelming favorite to be the 2024 Republican presidential nominee. Not saying I'm rooting for it. Not telling you how I'm going to vote. I will tell you how I vote because I've always done it on the primary here in my home state of Tennessee. And whenever it's going to be March, I think, of 2024, I'll tell you who I am selecting just to be completely transparent and honest with you. But I believe my big prediction is when we are finishing 2023, when Buck and I are sitting here talking to you as we are going into Christmas of 2023, I think Ron DeSantis will have become the overwhelming favorite to be the nominee for the Republican Party when everybody in, uh, in Iowa and in New Hampshire is about to vote. Now, I'm not perfect. My predictions are often wrong. I said last year that my New Year's prediction was Packers would win the Super Bowl. Wrong. Georgia Bulldogs would win the national championship. I got that right. Uh, That there would be three Senate seats picked up. I was wrong. And that the House Republicans would pick up 25 seats. I was wrong. Picked up 10 there. Lost one in the Senate. Um although Kirsten Cinema made that a little bit complicated. But I got only one thing right there with the Georgia Bulldogs winning the title. On January 1st, I'll give you my further predictions. Uh, but I think my big prediction is that Ron DeSantis is going to be your, uh, your nominee, your big favorite by the time we have this conversation one year from now. 